Hi folks, Moose here. How you doing? A bunch of folks know I'm going to Africa for the first time. Really quite excited about it. And I'm in the last moments of getting packed. People are saying, what are you going to take? How are you going to do this? Well, I thought a video would be the easiest way to answer all this. So what I've got here is the um, MP1 photo pack. It's a pack that we made for quite a while. And I'm taking this for a very simple reason, because it fits in the overhead of every plane that has an overhead. So that's really important. So that's the first thing. Okay, now, people always ask, what's with this stuff? You know, hey, it serves, this serves no purpose. It's just because it entertains me. That's why I like it. I have it. it takes a little bit of home with me. The only thing that's really practical on this is simply the little flashlight I have here that I can use to shine inside the, the pack to see things in the dark. That's the only thing that's actually practical in any of this. Otherwise, it's just moose decoration. All right, so we've got three pockets. We've got long lens and short lens pockets. So long lens pack, pocket, as you might imagine, okay, has my baby in it, 800.56, okay? 800.56, prime lens I'll be taking. That's where it's going to be. Now, this white thing down here is a white, large hand towel. And that's so when I'm driving around, I can just put that over my gear, keep the dust from settling on my gear, and then just take it off And when I want to shoot. And this will go into the nightly laundry service, so every day I have it clean, ready to go. Over here on the side, okay, because there's space right here as the lens tapers, I've got things in here like my GPS, I've got some extra little cables, stuff for the, the mics, that stuff. That's all over here in this little pocket on the side. That's the long lens part, compartment. Pretty simple, and of course, the old baseball cap, so I don't come back with a red beak. Now, the top pocket here, I have in here everything from my um, Lexar flash cards. I've got a bunch of 256s, uh, CF cards, XQD cards, 128 SD cards. So I've got enough here. In theory, I could shoot if anything, you know, push came, push came to shove and my uh, computer were to be damaged or to be lost. I have enough cards to keep working the entire week on there. We won't let that happen. Okay. Now, this is the bottom of the bag. This is the top of the bag. And I pack it thinking that. So down here are my two camera bodies. So I'm taking the D4S and the DF. Okay. They're both already loaded with cards as well. So they've got uh, their cards already in there. I have in this Lens coat case here, the SB910. It's in its own case, so this doesn't scratch up, the body doesn't scratch up the flash. The flash doesn't scratch up the body. And then if I need to go work, I can simply take this out. It's got its own little protection. In this lens coat case over here is the 16 fish. Okay, so I have the DF, the D4S, the flash, and the fish. And I have a bunch of my Copper Hill lens cloths in here to protect my gear, and of course, I think I'll be perspiring, so this will be there, and I have spares to clean out the LCD and the eye cup at the end of a shoot. In the top zippered pocket here, I have my split grad and my polarizer, okay? They're there, ready to go. In the top pocket, I have in here, I've got my MS-77 shotgun mic, great tool. In this little case, this little lens coat case here, I have my TC.25 match tail converter for the 800. I have the 80 to 400, okay, in here. I also have my backup hard drive. So I always have all my images with me. They'll never be out of my sight after I've taken them. They're all there. I have inside this pocket here, I have my Velo cable. Uh, Release for doing uh, heavenly bodies with cables for both the DF and the D4S. Really a great little unit. Then I have the 1835 and its shade, the 24 to 70 and its shade, SC28 TTL cord for the 910. Got my gel stick. And I have another flashlight. So that's my basic kit. That's everything that's going with me. So the logic, or you could say the, the reason I have for what I've picked is, this is my prime lens, 800.56. So I'll be shooting with most of the time, okay? That's the prime lens. Now, this only focuses down to 19 feet. If I need to get something closer, okay, and getting closer to critters is what I expect, then I've got the 8400, okay, which allows me to get handheld close-up critters. 
the read write stuff bracket, I'll probably leave that in camp. I won't take that with me for the very simple reason. Um, it won't be on a tripod, I'll be shooting handheld. Then the 1835, 24 to 70 are your basic shooting lenses for photographing the camp, the vehicles, the people, all that kind of good basic photography. And the 16 fish, that's a great lens for landscapes as well as for heavenly bodies. And the reason why I have two bodies, well, the D4S is my primary body. You can, you know, that's kind of a, like a no-brainer. You'll shoot my video and my stills. The DF is the backup body. It's for fun, and it's also for doing the start heavenly bodies because it has such great high ISO noise capabilities. In the top compartment here, the last little bit I have is like a spare body for the DF. I got some of my really right stuff plates for the bodies, and that's it. That's the total extent of what I'm taking to Africa. So I'm really looking forward to putting all my my homework and thoughts into practice, get over there, shoot, and then of course next year I'm going back again to the Mara Masai, so hopefully this will be not only the perfect kit, but maybe I can add a little bit more, because like I said, it just barely meets the weight requirements. Woo, you know, so that's the biggie. So hope that answers your questions, what I'm taking to Africa for my first safari.